Hey folks, I would just like to make a quick video about uh, spiritual enlightenment, um, the path of the individual, and the uh, impact that he or she may have on society as a whole. Um, so, what many philosophers acknowledge and uh, sort of explore in seeking to understand the greater picture of the universe, the meaning of things that one great observation that people tend to have is that there are structures of um, or patterns of behavior that are on the micro scale and on the macro scale. So the small reflects the large. And um, this sort of idea um, has been encouraged and explored by social theorists and psychologists who who suggest that maybe, just maybe, um, if we can understand individual development um, and our the individual path of human maturity, you know, the stages of growth um, can reflect the whole, can reflect a society at large. So, perhaps the evolution of a society is similar to the evolution or the journey of the self at an individual level. So, the, the, the individual and the collective may share a common, um, a common story, a common uh, pattern and structure, an, an unfolding. And um, this sort of concept in a way is uh, very very important I think because it, it it implies that we can take the journey of the self um, which goes through uh, these stages and processes uh, for instance we, we start out we start out as you know little physical um, cells literally just you know one cell two cell three cell we divide we we, we go through our own little micro-evolution in the womb, and and then there's the conceptual world that opens up when we're, when we're born, perhaps even before we're born, the emotional dimension to being a human, and then the whole growth of that, this whole unity of mind, body, heart, and yes, arguably spirit, this whole um, synergy that creates the human being. Um, just emerges and grows, uh, and and there are many psychologists and philosophers who who've, who've uh, offered us models of our path, our path of maturity, and there are particular stages that we all go through in order to evolve and grow and become um, honestly uh, less selfish. We 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 kind of start at a very selfish level and blossom out of that, and and. We, we kind of only thrive when we begin to step out of ourselves. We, we grow when we are in relationship with other people. And that relationship acts as a mirror for our own development. We, we, begin, we begin to see things that maybe we're doing um, that we were never aware of before. And so this whole thing, this, this is a very uh, interesting process of reflection and introspection and I mean the whole of our lives really is just learning through experience and, and becoming more and more aware of ourselves in relation to other people the more aware we are of our own being the more we realize we're connected to other other folks and the more we realize we're part of an ecosystem of, of human beings a social sphere and it really is sort of a blossoming from this tiny little seed into this uh, great interconnected forest of people and environment of our physical reality, our social reality, our emotional. And this understanding this whole process, that one of the major components is our ability to, to expand our awareness. And as I, I just mentioned, our awareness reaches key points where we may face uh, a challenge in our development, a, a, a conflict, and it raises a shortcoming. We, we suddenly come to a standstill. There's some kind of um, engagement, 
and, and we need to work through it. But usually the only way to work, work through it is to acknowledge some kind of limitation that we have. Maybe we're acting in an incorrect way, maybe some kind of old suppressed issue is coming up, but whatever that case may be, we are faced with ourselves. We, we have to face ourselves and somehow realize that, that, that there's some kind of limit and perhaps let go and perhaps transcend and evolve as an individual. We have to become more aware of who we are. And this is our process of growth. This is the process of human uh, maturity. More awareness, more reflection, and these critical points, these challenges in life, which um, offer us an opportunity to grow and evolve. And uh, that is very important in individual development. So bringing this back to uh, phil uh, philosophically and socially, there are perhaps moments collectively where we are faced to, we, we have to face some kind of issue that we need to adapt to, some kind of challenge. Perhaps our way of thinking has been selfish. Perhaps it's not really understanding the bigger picture. And we have to adapt to it. We have to acknowledge it and let go of um, previous misconceptions. We have to embrace a deeper awareness, and that happens at an individual level. So it's very important for the individual to understand a bigger picture in order to change society. And that's why it's so important for us to acknowledge these things. Um, but I would also like to posit the possibility of a spiritual unfolding as well, not just mental and physical but and emotional but a spiritual unfolding, uh, one in which I guess you could say there comes a point in our life where we become aware of a spiritual connection. And but I, what, I, what I mean by spiritual is we, we reach a point in our awareness that we realize that we are, we are actually fundamentally and directly connected to people. There is this aspect of our consciousness that is actually... Um, rooted in others and when we begin to explore this um, ability to to feel connected to others not just at an ideological level but actually directly recognize our connection to other people this faces a challenge because all of a sudden we are again at another deeper level at another more reflective level forced to move out of ourselves um, perhaps confront our selfishness and become more human, to become more loving and more compassionate. And in a, in a society where um, we're so encouraged to be selfish and so encouraged to be ethnocentric and small-minded and, and interested only in our own opportunities and our own goals, it's, um, we're faced with this, this is a challenge for us as individuals to sort of wake up um, personally and by personally waking up, by personally evolving and transcending and realizing our our unity with others, our, our connection um, at this deeper level of consciousness, that recognition at a personal level will impact society as a, as a collective. So basically what I'm saying is what so many other people have been saying throughout history, uh, such as Krishnamurti, what we do impacts the society at large because we are the society. society. It's not an abstract term. It's not an abstract concept. What we are contributes directly to society because society is a reflection of us. The, the lower reflects the higher. So what I'm saying is... Um, one of the most important things is for us to develop and to mature and to uh, challenge ourselves to evolve because if we don't do that then society won't evolve either we can't expect it to do it on its own it starts with us uh, we are the basis of society just like our bodies are the basis of our minds and hearts and in that way we are the basis of spirit too a spiritual connection with the world so change begins with with you and your own development and as you develop and as you thrive and grow spiritually physically mentally emotionally all of that um, goes and transforms and transcends into greater orders thanks for listening